Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth of Ruel. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath. That would be your brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. Okay. And um, um this lesson is going to be going into how knowledge is discreet, how knowledge is, is increased. Okay? Okay. Knowledge is increased, which was prophesied. Prophesied, okay, that the knowledge would increase in the last days. Okay? So that's what on my spirit right now. Through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Shai. Okay, so we're going to get into it. And I'm going to start off in the book of Daniel. Okay, so beginning with our elders and apostles, you know, um, you have a scripture in the book of Malachi, uh, the fourth chapter, which speaks of, um, um, as a matter of fact, let me grab it real quick. Uh, this, the Spirit telling me to go there. Uh, Malachi chapter four. And um, verse 5 says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming and great and dreadful day of the Lord, and he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. At least I come and smite the earth with a curse. Okay, the Spirit sent me there uh, to bring that out because uh, we believe uh, to, the, to the Spirit and in faith that uh, a guy, by, a, a man by the name of Abba Bivens, Okay, he was that's he was Elijah coming back. Okay, if you can receive it, all right, to turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers, roughly paraphrasing it. Okay, and it begins with this knowledge. Remember, it was uh, it was uh, it was uh, prophesied that in the latter days we would stand upon our feet. Okay, Revelation the eleventh chapter and uh, and the eleventh verse. Okay, also Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter, the body of those dry bones. Okay. The Lord blow, blow the breath of life back on those bones and the sinews came upon him. Okay, roughly paraphrasing Ezekiel the 37th chapter, which was which is a prophecy that in a lot of days we will wake up to who we are as a people. Okay, the scripture say what's that? Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. Uh, for I know it was a stiff neck people, for I know they would not listen to me because it's a stiff neck set of people. But in the lands of their captivity they shall remember themselves. So we're coming back. To the member the remembrance of who we are and once we come back into that that that, that stature to the spirit it's all through the spirit okay um we would do the things that <clears throat> we're supposed to do because we'll be activated the lord say until you come give attendance to reading the scriptures say the uh um uh study to show thyself approved okay a workman need not to be ashamed dividing the word of the of the most high okay rightly rightly dividing the word of truth roughly paraphrasing you see so the scripture speaks about all these things these the diligent things that we would be doing okay if we if we are if we if we are part of the elect i don't want to say that i am of that precious number and i do pray for brothers okay um the scriptures say uh what's that second peter's chapter one and verse 10 give diligence so you have to be diligent okay astute okay uh, uh prudent you have the scripture say to give diligence to make a call and an election sure so you can find yourself reading studying going through the hebrew going through the greek going to the latin you understand you know pulling up the meaning of words you know doing what you have to do to be diligent man the scripture say in uh, second peter the 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 the, 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 the third chapter and the 14 verse seeing that you seek certain things seeing that you look for such things be diligent man so you can be found blameless, man, and spotless in, in, in that time, in the return of our Lord Yahushua. Meaning, if you seek in the kingdom, you see, this is what you got to do. 
So going back to the initial point, knowledge is going to be increased in the, in the end times. So and now we're going to get it, get some scriptures, some scriptures when I jot down real quick. Let's go to the book of uh, Daniel. Let's get Daniel. We're going to start in Daniel because this knowledge was shut up for a while. Okay. We wasn't able to receive it. Okay. Uh, this is Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4. It says, but, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Right. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Okay. So in the end time, meaning in these times, knowledge is going to be in, increased. Right. But in, in, in back in ancient times. Okay. It says. Let me read it again. Daniel chapter 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. So the book was sealed at one point. That's the, that's, 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 that's the point. The book was sealed sometime in, in, in the past. Okay, it says, even to the time of the end. So in the latter days. Okay, all right. And it says, and many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Knowledge shall be increased in these times. But our Lord walked the earth. All right, and remember, you know, our Lord came as a man. Okay, he he uh he went on the cross. He was that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin uh, to the nation of Israel, the elect at this time. But the the the, 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 the rest of the nation is going to come back in the kingdom to the to the to the lowlands of an Israelite man and Israelite woman. But when our Lord was crucified, he was resurrected uh, 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 three days later. Okay. Right, he was resurrected three days later, and when he went back to the spiritual realm, okay, he was he was found worthy uh, to, to 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 loose the seals thereof, meaning the book. Okay, so let's get that account. This is how the spirit was able to be sent down to 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 the men of the Lord. Okay, um, Revelation. Let's get it in Revelation. Revelation chapter five. Okay, this is Revelation chapter five. Okay, it says. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get St. John first. I'm going to get St. John first. St. John, the, uh, the 16th chapter and 7th verse. It makes sense for me to read that first, and then I'll get Revelation. Uh, so this is St. John. St. John chapter 16, verse 7. It says, Nevertheless, this is red letters, this is our Lord, Yahawashai. Okay? It says, It says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. Okay, so this is the Lord speaking. Meaning when you go, 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 go to the spiritual realm, up to the Father. It says to sit on the right hand of the Heavenly Father. It says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. Meaning the, meaning the Holy Spirit. Okay, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. So the Lord said, when he depart, he's going to send the comforter unto you. Okay? So, when the Lord was, uh, was descended up, when you read Acts, the first chapter, it speaks about he, when he spent his last 40 days with the disciples and, you know, those who see him, uh, the few who saw him at that time, um, it says, um, you know, as he was uh, talking with the disciples, you know, he, 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 he ascended up in a cloud. And a chariot received him, what the world ignorantly calls a UFO. Okay, so this is Revelation, and this speaks about um, how the book was able to be opened. Okay, Revelation, the fifth chapter, beginning at verse one, it says, "And I saw in the, in the I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne, meaning the heavenly Father Yahweh, whose name is Yahweh." It says, "A book written within, and on the backside sealed with seven seals." And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with, loud, with a loud voice who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. Verse 5, it says, this is the point. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, which is our Lord Yahushai, hath prevailed to open the book, meaning he fulfilled prophecy by being a sacrificial lamb. You see, to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel, it says, and to loose the seals thereof. Okay, when you read on, so he was the Lord was able 
found uh, worthy to loose the seals thereof. It says, verse 6, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of the Most High sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. Okay. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prize of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth right so the Lord was able as far as ready to open the seals thereof man. okay so the book was open at that point okay and we read it in St. John the 16th chapter okay in the 7th verse where the Lord said he got to go away okay meaning the spiritual realm to send the Holy the, 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 the Comforter which is the Holy Spirit you see so as it says in Daniel the fourth chapter, and, and, and knowledge shall increase, man, in a lot of days. You see, so I'm gonna get from there. We're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to the apocrypha. We're gonna get uh, get about two more. We're gonna get ready to close it out. This is the book of um, Second Ashes, the seventh chapter, and um, we're gonna jump in here at verse. I'll start at verse 42. It says, And he answered me and said, This present life is not the end where much glory doth abide. Therefore have they prayed for the weak. Verse 43. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Okay? Meaning the return of our Lord, man. Okay? Because our Lord coming to subjugate nations and strike true kings. Okay? It says, And the beginning of the immortality for to come. Right? Because the scripture speaks about us being changed in the twinkling of, a, in the, of, of an eye. Okay? It says, Wherein the corruption is past. Right? All the wickedness is going to be taken out of the earth. Rooted out, man. It says, and Impotence is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Right? Righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. So, in these times, in, in the last times, man, truth is going to spring up man that's going to be under the leadership of our lord Yahushua, man you see in the kingdom of heaven man truth is going to spring up you see let's get our second Ezra chapter 6 and uh i start at verse 27 it says for evil shall be put out that's what's going to happen in the end time man okay Yahushua and the angels man okay it's going to put evil out of the earth, man. It says, for evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. You see? As far as for faith, it, it, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which shall, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Okay? The truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So at the end of the day, the truth is going to be declared, man. You see? It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get to that point where truth is gonna be declared, man. And the last time, and in these times we're coming into, the scripture speaks about uh, knowledge and wisdom being the stability of thy times. Let me grab that. Get ready to close over that. This is the book of um, uh, Isaiah chapter thirty-three, verse six. It says, "And wisdom and knowledge." shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the lord is his treasure so in these times to come man you know the scriptures speak about the lord loves none than those who dwell with wisdom okay in these time you have to attain wisdom to the spirit and power of yahweh okay if you are, are to be able to navigate your way through the spirit okay using discernment okay all right, led by the Spirit to navigate your way through the times to come, man. Okay, Jacob trouble, all of these different things. Okay, um, um, the hour of temptation. Okay, you see. So you, you have to arm yourself, uh, put on, put on, uh, put on um, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, the scripture, scripture said to put on as the elect. 
Okay, knowledge knowledge shall be increased, man. And a lot in a lot of days. So yeah, that's it, man. Hopefully you were edified. I'm gonna end it there. On to the next one. Shalom.